Mankind's ability to control nature is beginning to get out of control. Animals are being cloned, hybrids are being created, and jellyfish DNA is being used to make all kinds of things glow. Whether they were meant to exist on this planet or not, it's already too late. Here are insane creatures created by scientists. But before we get started today, we'd like to give a quick shout out to one of our fans over here. We appreciate your insight and your comments, and we'd like to hear more. What color would you like your fish to be when it glows in the dark? Starfire red, cosmic blue, or galactic purple? These glowfish are the first genetically engineered pets on the market to become available to the public, but that doesn't mean you'll find them everywhere. Jellyfish DNA, or DNA from other sea creatures, is inserted into embryos of zebrafish, which will result in a glow-in-the-dark type fish. Other DNA from coral, sea anemones, and sea pansies are used to make them glow in different colors. They were extremely popular when they first went on shelves in Taiwan, selling for $18 each. It's believed that they were originally created to be released into water and become fluorescent when toxic water is present. Some people protested the fish, like in Canada, but eventually it was deemed that they weren't dangerous to anyone, so they let people keep the fish. Many fish have some natural fluorescence, so there hasn't been any negative genetic effects to the fish population just yet. Number 12. Superbugs With all the organisms whose DNA has been unnaturally altered, you have to wonder what kind of environmental risks there are. As more and more species are introduced into the world, other animals are going to have to adapt to those changes. Some bugs will actually develop immunity to pesticides when they're overused. This is true for other organisms such as bacteria, fungus, weeds, etc. Theoretically, a new bacteria could develop which would kill GMO animals where they need excess antibiotics or were modified to be more bacteria resistant, leading to massive plagues. Other environmental risks include the excess in pesticides seeping into our water supply and polluting our soil. As of right now, antibiotic genes don't appear to pose a threat, but we don't know the negative effects just yet either. We'll explain later on how scientists try to combat these superbugs later on in this video. Number 11. Killer Bees This is what happens when people think it's fun to hybrid a little bit too much without thinking about the results, and the story behind it seems like something out of a sci-fi film. Farmers who were trying to increase the production of honey crossbred the African honeybee with a European honeybee native to Italy and create a killing machine. This mix of genetics turned them into much more aggressive insects of nightmares. They don't need a good chase either. If you even consider disturbing their nests, they'll chase you for miles. At least 1,000 humans have lost their lives because of these bees too. Let's hope no other hybrids will turn out like this one. Number 10. Enviropig A genetically modified pig known as the Enviropig, or the Frankenswine by many protesters, contains DNA of mice and also the genes of E. coli bacteria. This was used to help the pigs consume much higher amounts of phosphorus more efficiently, which is found in genetically modified soy, which also has its own complications. For normal pigs, they would eat soy that contained phosphorus, which would come out in manure and then pose environmental problems. The pigs were later euthanized when Canada decided to pull funding on the GE experiment. Why can't they just genetically modify the pig to have the best bacon or find something better to feed them? Number 9. Super Cows You might see humans competing in bodybuilding competitions, but in the European country of Belgium, they might have cow bodybuilding competitions. This animal has actually not been genetically modified in any way, and it's actually the result of extreme selective breeding over centuries. It turns into a lean, mean bovine machine weighing up to one ton. You might think the cow is on growth hormones or something. This is due to what many are calling double muscle. That doesn't mean they have two of every muscle. There's a mutated DNA cell that reduces or eliminates the activity of the myostatin protein. This is the protein that basically limits the production of muscle fibers. This almost goes to show how animals can get just as big from just farmer-selected genetics. The top bulls will artificially inseminate plenty of times in order to ensure plenty of attempts to make more bulls like this in the future. It's unclear exactly what happens for female cows with these genetics, but they don't come out quite as ripped. The bulls weigh too much to mate with a regular cow that you see on the farm, and special precautions are made. The bulls are shaved on a regular basis also, so the farmers can see more muscle definition. Number 8. Sterile Pink Bullworm Moss Bullworms are basically a superbug that can wipe out huge farms of cotton throughout the world, especially in India and the southern United States. It's become evasive and Monsanto even said that their variety of cotton is ineffective against the pink bullworm. So what to do? Plants might have to be drenched with pesticides or people can go out into the cotton fields and pick out the caterpillars. Scientists began exposing moss to enough radiation to damage chromosomes, which will then ultimately make them incapable of reproduction. You have to wonder if the government would actually do the same thing to human populations. 
Number 7. Gen Pets This photo here was made by an artist in order to expose people to bio and genetic engineering. Made of plastic and latex, it simulates low respiration. This isn't too far from the truth, however, and some genetically modified animals might shock you. This photo here shows a featherless chicken created in Israel. While it might have a few benefits for humans to be featherless, they're often more exposed to harsh weather, parasites, and can become overly aggressive. Number 6. The Vacanti Mouse Within the past few decades, scientists have made huge advancements in creating spare limbs, organs, etc., which would certainly be useful for us humans. But don't tell the Vacanti Mouse that it looks pretty weird, because it'll definitely be able to hear you. Would you want this mouse as a pet? The ear was actually cartilage modified in the shape of an ear, constructed from seeding cow DNA. When the cartilage began to grow, it was molded to look this way. There was no human DNA in the making of this. Also known as the ear mouse for good reason, it was created by Charles Vacanti in the University of Massachusetts. Number 5. Sterile Mosquitoes In an effort to reduce the mosquito population in California, scientists engineered a new kind of mosquito and released 20 million of them into the wild. Seems counterproductive, right? Well, au contraire. The mosquitoes that are let out into the wild are the harmless male variety who don't suck our blood. Their job is to get the female mosquitoes pregnant to spread their germs, which results in a sterile offspring. Mosquitoes have been wreaking all kinds of havoc on humans, causing who knows how many kinds of diseases. So it's just a matter of time before they got what was coming to them. The males are infected with Wolbachia, which is a bacterium that's naturally found in many different kinds of insects, but relatively unknown to the A. aegypti mosquito. This is the kind of mosquito that's responsible for spreading the West Nile virus and other diseases. Number 4. Pentagon Cyborg Beetle It really sounds like something straight out of a horror film. Is there anything worse than being spied on by the government and creepy insects? The government most likely suspects that you won't go and investigate this one too closely. This is modeled after a rhinoceros beetle and controlled by Radio Command. With a series of six electrodes, this rhino bug comes to life and successful experiments have been conducted. Until the day comes when there's more cyborg beetles than real beetles, small radio-controlled UAVs could be used to find victims in natural disasters or in collapsed buildings, but in this case, probably used to spy on you. Number 3. Bomb Sniffing Clones If you got yourself a good bomb sniffing dog, then you got yourself an extremely valuable commodity that many governments would like to have. There's often bomb sniffing dogs in high-profile places such as the Pentagon and the airports, so people around the world are trying to find a way to get more of them. It's believed that only 10 to 30% of bomb sniffing dogs will succeed after being trained on how to sniff out some dangerous devices. One particular dog from Canada who showed quite a bit of success was cloned in South Korea. The demand for police and military dogs is on the rise, and a good clone can go for about $100,000 each. It turned out to be a huge success, too. Number 2. Robotic Catfish Have you ever wondered who that hot girl on the internet you were talking to was? Well, here's your answer, a robotic catfish. Instead of putting their animals on cameras, more recent gadgets actually disguise their gadgets as animals in order to avoid detection. This unbelievable catfish seems stranger than fiction, but was actually dreamt up by the CIA in the 1970s. This is what's known as a UUV, or unmanned underwater vehicle. It definitely has more spy equipment than any catfish you've ever met in your life. It contains not only cameras, but pressure holes, ballistics, communications, and even a propulsion system in the tail. You better hope this member of the CIA doesn't swim up to your party boat anytime soon. And number one, but what hybrid would you like to see be created? Let us know in the comments section and we will feature you in an upcoming video. And number one, see-through frogs. Pollution can cause some really messed up things, especially when it lives near a chemical plant. 60 mutant frogs were recently discovered in 2016 near a town in central Russia. The frogs have completely transparent skin and allows you to see their internal organs and even their heart beating. No longer will kids need to dissect frogs when they can see just straight through them. It's believed that mining operations in the area left a scar on the environment and this was developed while they were still in eggs. Scientists wanted to recreate the transparent frogs using genetics this time though. A group of biologists got together to determine which genes cause the skin color in frogs from the Japanese brown frog known as the Rana Japonica. The see-through frogs allowed for the scientists to observe internal issue, reproductive organs, the heart, the liver, and whatever else you find in frogs. So what'd you guys think of that video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my channel over here, American Eye. We'll see you there.